So what is an object variable? This is a question we get a lot of the time. What are object variables? What do you use them for? What are they actually useful for? So I've set up a little scene right here. We have our main character right here. We got a house and we have a goblin hiding right behind it. Now I want to be able to find out where my goblin is by highlighting it red so my character can uh, kind of see where, where the goblin is it's, uh, and its hiding place has kind of been revealed. So an object variable allows me to do that by assigning new traits to a certain object. So I'm just going to jump into test mode before I do anything. So I have my character running around here. We have the goblin, but he's pretty hard to see behind that house ahead. So let's, let's go ahead and change that. So we're going to jump into our character brain right here. And uh, first thing we are going to do is we are going to define this object variable. So we go to values, then you're going to see objects. And then, you're, then you can create a new object variable, um, and I'm going to call this uh, hiding enemy. And uh, now the important thing is you have to set this object variable to be equal to something in game. So it's got to be relative to something in game. Uh, and here I want to look for the nearest enemy. So I'm going to go for uh, nearest objects. I'm going to um, add a line right before that and go to teams and click enemies. So now this object variable called hiding enemy is going to be equal to the nearest object that is an enemy. So this allows me to basically call whatever the nearest enemy is and do something specific to it. So just calling it, this does nothing. You know, you go into test mode and uh, nothing has changed. We still have the goblin, he's still hiding. Um, nothing has really changed. I've just defined what this variable means. Now I can start defining it. So when I hold down on right trigger, I want to highlight um, that hiding enemy. So we can now select hiding enemy and we now go to uh, appearance, say highlight. Let's go to values and let's give it a, a bit of a red highlight right there. And so here we are basically pulling this object variable and now we're gonna highlight it. So this object variable, you know, it's being referenced right here and then you are defining what it means right here. So it's gonna highlight the uh, nearest object that is an enemy. So let's just jump in. Let's press right trigger. Now you see the goblin has been highlighted, so he's much easier to find. Now to just show you the variety of this, we can instead just look at um, equals to uh, all objects, nearest object. So this isn't just looking for enemies, it's looking for every object in the world. And now we uh, hold down, and now you see that it's actually a pillar on the house. That is the nearest object. So, and now it's the goblin because the, the goblin has been running towards me. So. That's how you can really use kind of object variables to, um, you know, during runtime, change around um, what a uh, certain character is or object you want to do something to. So very useful in a lot of situations. Um, quick thing is you'll notice in our default enemy brains, that's what they actually are doing. They're looking for their nearest enemy and they are uh, setting this object variable called my enemy and now that allows them to move towards that one specific enemy and attack that one specific enemy so they're using it for targeting you can use it for a lot more different things but hopefully that gives you a quick look at what object variables are and how you can use them project spark is where players create and creators play what better way to be inspired than to see what's possible this will surely spark your imagination. Now, how do we begin?